Welcome to another edition of Cisco Unboxed. My name is Matthew White, coming to you from Ingram Micros Business Transformation Center, just like always. Uh, and today we're going to be showing off the Cisco Roombar Pro. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the unit itself. So this bar here, as you can see here, is very close in size to the quad camera. Uh, it does have a few differences though. The mount itself is kind of pre-attached here. It has the ability to actually unclip from the sides of that piece of plastic here so that it makes it eat very easy to get on and off of the mounting system. Uh, when you have this all locked in place, you just slide that piece of plastic back in and it locks. These little L brackets that come with the unit actually slip into that mount. And depending on the thickness of your display, you can use these a lot of different ways. So you can actually mount these so that they're the, the longer width going in or the shorter width or reverse it. Just depends on the thickness of your display. Now, one of the things that I like about this unit as well is that it actually has a power button on the corner here so I can very easily turn the unit on and off. So if this was mounted on the top of the display, I could just reach over, press the power button if I wanted to physically turn off the full device for privacy in the room. Uh, where with this uh, quad cam, I would actually have to get to the center underneath the unit. And the other thing with the quad cam is it's really designed to be mounted above a display. Now you can mount it below, but there is little difficulty hiding the cables with that unit. Uh, this is actually connected to a RoomKit EQ. Uh, so you do have the codec as well in the room where the Bar Pro has everything built into it itself. So everything can be uh, directly connected to the bar. And if I actually pop the cover off, this cover is interchangeable with like a black cover if you wanted to actually have it match the display. Um, and this you can see the uh, microphones and speakers all built into the unit. So this unit does have speaker tracking built right into it, just like the quad camera does. But in difference from the quad camera is it actually has microphones for the audio pickup for the meeting itself as well. So with this unit, I don't need to have extra mics in the room. You can if you choose to, to better pick up a lot larger room, either a ceiling mic or table mics, like the Table Mic Pros. Um, those actually do have extra ethernet jacks on the back of this unit as well to support the Table Mic Pros. And the other thing too is if I wanted to mount this, currently this is designed to be almost mounted underneath the display. If I wanted to mount it on top, um, I could just flip and have the cables go in a different direction. I could just flip the cover and mount it so that the cables would be going still behind the television here. So let me go ahead and flip this back so that the Cisco logo is in the right orientation for being underneath the display. And then this just has a physical power connector going right into the unit itself. It's a C13 connector, so just standard power cord. Uh, really, the advantage there is you don't have that big power brick anymore that you have to zip tie and secure behind the display. Uh, this is just a straight up power cable going directly into the back of the unit. Uh, the unit itself does have your four ethernet jacks, your one for your network, one for the touch screen or the room navigator, and then two for power over ethernet, uh, like the table microphone pros. And then I do have a two 3.5 millimeter mic input. So it's a quantity two of those. And then I do have a 3.5 millimeter for audio out as well. Uh, one of the differences you'll notice on the Bar Pro versus like an EQ codec is the amount of HDMI inputs you have. There is only one HDMI physical input for presentation. You'll have to use Miracast or something like AirPlay to share wirelessly if you have more than one presenter and you don't want to swap cables between the two or using something like an HDMI switch separately. Uh, but you do still have three HDMI outputs because this Bar Pro can actually handle three displays on the wall itself. The camera module is a little different. So you'll notice there's four cameras on the front of the quad cam where there's only two on the front of the Bar Pro. So it doesn't get as far of a zoom. So if you've got people sitting much further away and you want a closer shot of them, you might want to think about the quad cam and the RoomKit EQ. Um, but if you're going to 
to have a um, not really worry about that heavy of a zoom or if you've got a smaller room then the bar pro is a much easier setup and install because there's less cables less things you have to worry about like the kodak and everything okay so uh, other things that come with this unit are the mounting brackets so these actually will attach to these l brackets and then from the L brackets, they mount to the back of the screen where your mounting bracket will attach. So these will connect between your mounting bracket and your television itself. So you get two of those. Uh, you do have a short HDMI cable for connecting to the display. Um, you can option for more of those or longer cable versions of that. Uh, and you have an Ethernet jack or an Ethernet cable for connecting to your Ethernet network. And then you also have the Ethernet cable for the room navigator and the table room navigator itself for controlling the unit. You do also have the spacer kits and screw down pieces for the mounting to make sure that it's mounted correctly to the back of the television. The manual for the room navigator, the manual for the bar pro, and the safety information. So all that is included. If you do want to do a Table Microphone Pro or something like that, you can add those on as additional accessories or like a room navigator for outside of the room. That could also be an additional accessory. So when you go to set this unit up, you're just going to pick your location, your uh, language, and then it's going to ask you how you want to connect. I've connected this via Wi-Fi, but if you're doing a more permanent installation, you definitely want to pick Ethernet, if you have that option, it's a much more stable connection source. Okay, continue. And then it's going to ask me to find my best camera view. Now, this is where the quad camera and the bar pro also differ. In the quad cam, you physically tilt the unit by using the brackets on the underside of the unit that's actually holding the unit up. Uh, with the bar pro, there's actually a motorized camera lens. So I can hold down the tilt up and actually adjust the camera to fit the room that I'm in. Uh, so that camera can stay looking nice and flush against the wall. It's not having to look like it's tipped forward heavily if it's very high up with very large screens, things like that. You can do a lot of the adjustment motorized on the camera unit itself. Now this is where I do wanna show you a difference between the quad cam and the bar pro. So let me go ahead and Let's just zoom that all the way out. So as you can see here, I have a very wide view of the room itself, but I can also take this and zoom in pretty far with the quad cam. So if I'm on the other side of that table, I can get a pretty nice clean and clear shot of me in the room. Uh, the camera quality, as you can see, let me just zoom out a little bit there. Um, is slightly different. Um, I do look a little bit clearer on the quad cam. That's going to be kind of expected in this room. I've got light, slightly dimmer lights, not real dim, but you'll notice that the quad cam has a larger lens on the camera module, so it allows more light into the camera uh, versus the Bar Pro it has a smaller lens, so it's going to allow a little bit less light into the camera. But still, in both cases, a very good picture. If they weren't side by side, you probably wouldn't notice it. So then, once you like the camera view, you're just going to hit continue. It's going to ask you to pick your time zone and if you want your 24-hour uh, or 12-hour time increments. And then you're just going to hit continue. And it's going to ask you for your 16-digit code to finish setting it up and attaching it to your system. So I'm going to go do that real quick, and I'll be right back. OK, so I've gone ahead and plugged the 16-digit code into the Room Navigator. It's now connected to the Cisco Cloud, so I can manage it fully from there if I wanted to through the Control Hub. And I can just hit Continue on the touch screen. And there you go. I'm ready to go. Now, I can adjust this to have a lot of additional features if I wanted to. I can make the background be different to match my company's look and feel, my company's colors. I can uh, load an image on there if I wanted to. I can turn on 
the Wi-Fi capability to wirelessly present to it. Um, I have the ability on the Room Navigator to add a lot more things like light control and um, alarm notification and things like that into the unit itself so that everything here can be controlled from the actual touchscreen of the unit. So I don't have to have multiple touchscreens in the room. Okay, so that is the quick and simple setup and overview of the Room Bar Pro. Uh, I look forward to having additional conversations with everybody about this new unit and uh, doing some additional more deeper dive demos. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.